Good morning, botany students. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how you propagate a mother-in-law's tongue plant. All right, so let's get started. So propagation is the art of taking an existing plant, you know, we have this large mother-in-law's tongue plant, for example, and it is basically taking a smaller piece of it. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and cut part of the leaf off and we are going to repot it in a new area. So we're gonna need some soil. We're going to need some water. I've got a watering can here because plants need water. That is their most fundamental need in this world. We are also going to need some safety equipment. So for those of you in the hybrid model, for those of you coming to school, uh, we're gonna go ahead and have you wear gloves. You've each been given your own pair of gloves that will just be yours. And this will allow us to keep sanitary while reaching into common soil pots um, for COVID procedures. You're also going to need a nice clean and sharp pair of these garden shears, these garden clippers. Um, so the reason why we need to have them clean is essentially so we don't uh, infect the plant, the leaves, or get unnecessary microbes like bacteria on the part of the leaf that we cut. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and make a cut. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of look for one. I'm going to go ahead and cut off a part of the, a part of the plant that was kind of hanging over and Kind of getting in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a cut right here. All right, so I have now cut a smaller piece off from the larger plant and I'm going to go ahead and actually make one additional cut. So I'm going to take it and I cut it in half one more time. So now I have two pieces of mother-in-law's tongue plant which is also the snake plant. Okay, so now that I have that I need to know which side was the bottom closer to the roots and which side was the top because we're going to go ahead and put the bottom part, so this part, right into the pot, into the soil. All right, so let me get the plant kind of out of the way here so we can go ahead and do that. You know, I'm actually going to make one more cut just because this leaf's kind of getting in the way. So let's go ahead and cut this one as well. So we're gonna have a total of four pieces at the end of this video, all of which will go into this one common pot. And you can put more than one piece in a pot. This is a fairly good sized pot, so we're gonna be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut it right here. Now I don't recommend, you know, completely mangling a perfectly good plant, but every now and again, it's okay to cut a leaf or two off. So I've got this longer piece. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and cut it to make two smaller pieces. What I like to do is I like to line up all the stems on the table in front of me, like so. Got them all, all lined up so they're all facing the right way because that way I can just know what way that they go and plop them right into the soil. And I, the way I demonstrated it right here, I was not wearing gloves, but we will all be wearing gloves in class. So you would just go ahead and do the same thing. Take it, cut. These gloves are very easy to handle. So I will be wearing the gloves from here on out. Okay, so next step, we've got our pot. We've got our cut sections of mother-in-law's tongue. Now we have to go ahead and fill this pot with our soil. And you know what, actually, before we do that, there's one additional step that I actually read online that was kind of a neat idea. So in order to stimulate more root growth at the bottom of these pieces of leaf, they actually say you should go ahead and take a piece of aloe vera, which this is just a, a tip from the aloe vera plant. I'll bring it closer and show you. So they actually say what you should do is you should take this cut end and you should go ahead and take the piece of aloe vera, it kind of looks like a piece of celery, and just kind of coat this waxy cuticle, the stuff on the end of this, on the bottom or basal part of the cut. So and that actually helps to stimulate your root growth is what is what I'm told. So we will we will see if that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all four of my cut sections. So I've got them all lined up. So two, three, 
and four. All right, so now let's go ahead and fill our pot with soil. I have a big bucket of soil right here. So go ahead and with your gloves on, it's fine if multiple people go ahead and reach into the same pot because that allows, we're not gonna be spreading anything that way, it'll be fine. All right, so go ahead and just fill this pot about two thirds of the way full, get our soil. And we have plenty of potting soil in the greenhouse as well as in the hallway if we run out. Okay, so that appears to be good. And a quick note on distancing, we will be socially distancing while doing this. I have created nine different zones in the greenhouse where you can spread out and do this planting procedure. All right, so you can see it's about two thirds of the way full, might be a little bit far away, but you can take my word for it here. Okay, so next up what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and I will bring the pot closer to the camera to show this, you're gonna go ahead and take our, our pot. You're gonna go ahead and just kind of wiggle this right in there. So you want it to be, you know, not super deep in there, but you know, certainly make sure that it is sturdy and in that pot. So you'll go ahead and do that for the other, the other four, other three stems as well. So we've got this one. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Let's grab the next one and make sure they're reasonably spaced apart. Like this one got a little bit close. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread it apart. So you don't want the plants to be competing too much for water once they start to root. So we got three in there and number four. Okay, so now I just kind of, what I like to do is I like to lightly tap down the soil around them, lightly tap it down. And then what you have, you got a pot full of new budding plants. So you have successfully propagated the mother-in-law's plant. Great job there. Okay, so now we just gotta water it and we will put it in the greenhouse. Okay, so with your with your plants, you'll be using a larger kind of square flat, um, which is essentially where you will be putting your pots on top of. So all you do, and I'll actually grab one, one second. So all you will be doing is you'll be getting this larger plant flat and each of your plants will go in here in smaller containers. So I'll show you what that's gonna look like. Smaller containers right there. And then you, you actually pour the water right into this dish and then the water is taken up by the roots of each of these smaller pots which have holes in them. But for sake of today, because I have a larger pot, I have this plastic dish, which is just extra plastic that we've recycled over the years. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some water. So make sure I fill that dish with water. So we'll get it good and full there. And sometimes I also pour a little bit of water on top just to ensure that the plants are taking it up because they don't, yet have fully developed roots, but let's just make sure that that soil is nice and moist. So I will go ahead and pour it on here as well. All right, so now we have our pot that's filled with water as well as our dish below that's also filled with water. So our plant, we can just leave it then. We will move it into the greenhouse and let it sit there. So that is how you propagate the mother-in-law's tongue plant. So uh, those watching from at home, thanks for tuning in um, virtually and uh, watch for assignments to follow.